Hi kids, it's Nana, and tonight I am reading Pete the Cat and the Lost Tooth by James Dean. Pete lost a tooth. Put it under your pillow, his mom says. The tooth fairy will come. Pete puts the tooth under his pillow. He closes his eyes. But really, he leaves an eye open because he's so excited that the Tooth Fairy is coming to visit him that night. He hears a jingle. <gasps> it is the Tooth Fairy, and she looks so pretty. I am very busy tonight, she says. I can help, says Pete. Great! She gives Pete magic wings so that he can fly. Visit these cool kids, says the Tooth Fairy. And on his list is Callie, Alligator, and Gus. Just take the tooth and leave a coin, she says. Pete is ready to go. He's so excited. Callie is the first on his list. <sighs> there is Callie's last tooth. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for Callie. <gasps> Alligator is next on his list. <laughs> Look, alligator's lost tooth. Be careful, it is very sharp. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for alligator. Guess the platypus is next on his list. But uh-oh, he doesn't see a tooth for Gus. Where is the tooth? He looks under his bed. It's not there. He looks all around his room underneath toys, and he still doesn't see a tooth. He looks everywhere. The tooth is not there. The tooth is not anywhere. Where is Gus's lost tooth? The lost tooth is lost. Does Pete panic? Nope, he knows exactly what to do. Look, Gus is awake. Where is your tooth, Gus? Pete asks. Platypuses do not have teeth, says Gus. But I still want to be part of the tooth fairy fun. No worries, says Pete. Pete puts a coin under Gus's pillow. Thank you, Gus says. You're welcome, says Pete. Good night, Gus. Great work, Pete, says the Tooth Fairy. No problem, says Pete. Not everyone is the same, but being kind is always cool. I hope you like this story, kids. If you liked it, you can go ahead and comment under the video and also let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to read. Have a good night.